County mom of five who died after falling off a balcony is speaking out. Nearly two years later, her family still wonders if death, if her death was an accident or a homicide. John Sherrick is at GBI headquarters tonight with the latest in a case, John, that has really haunted so many for so long. It has. The GBI tells me tonight that its investigation into the Tamla Horsford case remains active and ongoing. Horsford's mother and sister, speaking for the first time publicly since her death nearly two years ago, say they need answers that make sense and that so far none of this makes sense. What happened at his home in Cumming in November 2018? What caused the death of 40-year-old Tamla Horsford, married, mother of five boys? What caused her death here at an all-night party with friends? Now, nearly two years later, Horsford's sister and mother are aching, they say, still for answers. Did Horsford accidentally lose her balance and fall off of this deck to the yard below? As the initial Forsyth County Sheriff's Office investigation concluded, citing the Xanax and marijuana and alcohol that the autopsy found in her system. Horsford's sister, Summer St. George Jones, speaking publicly for the first time in an interview with CNN. Never, ever, ever, ever have I seen my sister become sloppy drunk and incoherent. And so I doubt that she would pick, you know, a sleepover with people that she was just getting to know to start behaving that way. The family's attorney, Ralph Fernandez, tells CNN he believes the evidence he has seen so far indicates that Horsford was the victim of homicide. The placement of the body, multitude of injuries, the what I would consider to be defensive injuries. Back in February 2019, three months after Horsford died, Forsyth County Sheriff's Major Joe Perkins was confident her death was an accident. All the injuries were all indicative and uh, consistent with a fall. But this past spring, amidst the renewed international focus on racial justice, the GBI agreed to conduct an independent investigation at the request of Forsyth County. We need answers that make sense. None of this makes sense. None of it. A family's anguish nearly two years later. The GBI is not discussing any sort of timetable, but the results of the investigation will go to Forsyth County, no matter what those findings may turn out to be. And that family just looking for some answers tonight. John, thank you.